Good day to you creatures of the multiverse. I'm N Sega and welcome to N Sega X Podcast. So a couple months ago I bought a game called The Unknown City on the PlayStation Store. I'd heard how terrible it was and it was cheap. It wasn't until the 27th of September, which, as of when I'm recording this, is yesterday, that I actually decided to play it. And what did I think? Well, first, let me introduce you to the rating system. So on the main show, I rate things out of 15. But instead, I'm going to have this. Going from the top down, we have legendary, damn good, adequate, bad, and death. Death is like, if, if you couldn't guess, like absolutely awful. Yeah. But yeah, so I honestly. The only thing that I think stops this game from being flat out bad is the glitches. Or not even necessarily glitches, just. Just like some things I found funny. Really? So, there's this one thing. You know, in games where there'll be a character, they like. They don't walk, they glide on the floor. Yeah, well, a little yeah, well, characters a character we were supposed to follow did that. So make a giant what you will. Unfortunately, my PlayStation flat out deleted my gameplay footage, so you can't see it. And then there was a glitch where for multiple minutes a group of zombies they're just like carrying just carrying me around just around, around the same part of the road the empty road because the city is unknown if, if you didn't know so yeah you know like cliche of someone being carried out after a sports game I don't know if that actually happens in any sport but yeah it was like that except I was stuck I I was stuck on top of a bunch of zombies and so I was able to shoot some of them and then there were like these three two I think and then and then, like, another one spawned in. I don't know. It was, it was funny, but it was also kind of annoying. It got annoying quickly. Then... Honestly, though... I thought, like... So... The weapon lineup's decent. You got a knife and you know a few variants of guns, like like a pistol, a shotgun, an AK forty seven. I'm 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 not a gun nerd. I just I just shoot games when they deserve it. Um, though, though I think those are basic knowledge guns, but it was nice to have a little bit of variety. But. The, the 
guns. You, you, you just, you just can't aim. When you slightly move the right stick, it decides to go crazy with look, like, and just look around further than you wanted it to. Actually, got kind of frustrating at times, and you know. Other than that, the game was just boring, repetitive, tedious. Insert more words here. Just It's just because, and I just want pretty much once like two zombies or whatever are attacking you. You have even if you even if you still have even if you still have like twenty percent health. You have you have no chance of you pretty much have no chance of surviving or little to no chance. And then also that it's just doing the same thing over and over and I know I haven't played like far into the game or anything, but So I'm not calling this a review. This isn't a review. It's just it's just me discussing my thoughts, my raw thoughts on a game. And yeah, I just I stopped playing. Because I got bored. The glitches started started getting frustrating. The tedium was tedious. And yeah, pretty much all I really have to say about this game. So I'm going I'm going to disaward it. That's a word now. This game with bad. Yeah, not death. It actually it actually made me laugh a couple times. So I can't give it death. It, yeah, um episodes might have some guests but there will still be ones of just me discussing solo um but yeah if if you listen if you listen through this thanks i hope you have a nice whatever it is in your time zone Bye.